Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. We pray for the Lord today is Sunday that we will get more people to see and to listen and to understand. Always we hear the Muhammadan speaking about miraculous Quran. And always I say I never saw a stupid book more than the Quran. And we challenge Mohammedans to prove us wrong. And we have always our Skype open. And because they knew very well that their Quran is really stupid, they don't dare to call me. I just received, actually, I see in Skype a message from a Muslim. Oh, this is the person who called me last time. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they remember uh, 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 Mr. Kazim who called me. Let me show you the message. Wonderful. <clears throat> we are happy for him. And maybe later he can join us if he wish. If he is, um, like for me, it says he is offline. But this is a message. If you remember, I sent him tons of reference when I was talking to him last time. And like he kept asking for reference, 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 book after book after book. You know? And he is the same person who said to me in the beginning, you are lying about my prophet. May Allah guide you. <laughs> I mean you are lying about my prophet may Allah guide you and then uh, Kazim he noticed that I'm not lying I mean I have all those books in the front of you those are not written by me none of those books are written by me and then the conclusion after what talking showing the reference the proofs nothing from my pocket our friend here, he decided that this is true. You cannot beat it, and you cannot deny it. And this is why Muslims, you know, many of them actually, they they knew the consequence of calling and being brave, because they will leave Islam. You know, they will leave Islam. So you are lying about my prophet. May Allah guide you. And then we find out that I'm not lying about his prophet, and Allah is the deceiver. Now, today our topic is kind of funny, but before we start, one of you, he sent me an email uh, speaking about Aisha being uh, 18 years old when uh, he's speaking to a Muslim, and the Muhammadan, he said to him, uh, this is a lie about Aisha, she was six years old. In fact, she was 18, something like that. If we go in the internet, Uh, you will find tons of articles written by Muslims and even published in a, in you know in magazines have nothing to do with Islam, which is really weird. Like as an example, this is the Guardian. This is what the Guardian. What the Guardian have to do with Aisha? This is how stupid the UK become. The Guardian have article about Aisha. Who is Aisha for the Guardian? You tell me. But anyway, the stupid UK. Islam Buhari, he made an article, and this is tons of them in the internet. Aisha, she was 18, not 9, when she married the Prophet. Now, you know, if you if you read the article, you will you will see how stupid it is. So what the Muslim they try to do, I mean, it's just a speech. The prophet was born etc and she is born etc and you know and but if you ask them where you got the reference from we have real reference from Aisha herself saying she married me when I was six years old not nine you lie even when you say nine however the easiest way to get those Potatoes busted, they are ashamed of their prophet, so they try to duct tape 
his penis behavior. You know, Muhammad penis is duct taped by the Muhammadan to the point you cannot see the penis no more, for he is a horrible person. This is Aisha speaking, and this is the most authentic book. Do you see it? However, this is a website, and this is a very, very Islamic website. I will post the link for you. Any potato, son of tomato, he said to you, this is a lie. Well, here we go. The answer is from the Muslim themselves refuting the lies the, of those who make articles. Refutation. <clears throat> what is the name of the article? Islamic question and answer. Refutation, and this is made by supposedly Muslim sheikhs, not people making articles on YouTube. Refutation of the lie that the Prophet blessing and peace be upon him married Aisha when she was 18 years old. Question. I read a newspaper article entitled Young Journalist Had Corrected Thousand Year Old Miss Old Mistake. Leading scholars. What was in the article may be summed by the follow. And he posted, you know, which Aisha, she was 18. So a young journalist, he corrected the history of Islam. Okay. The answer is here. Praise be to Allah, uh, the God of the Black Stone. The Sahih Hadith stated that the Prophet, a blessing and peace be upon him, a wickedness upon him, he contracted the marriage with Aisha when she was six years old <laughs> and consummated the, the marriage when she was nine. In fact, he was molesting her between six to nine, between, according to Muslims. He used to put his dude between her legs. Prophet of God, you know. And here is quoting the hadith. And you can read the article by yourself, just to most his time. The conclusion, whoever making such a statement is a mule. And they are telling you here, those people, they are trying to make those statements and those because they feel they are ashamed when we should be proud of the Prophet. He is the best example. Secondly, the writer of the article mentioned was led by the ignorance of the function, uh, uh, fanatical support, fanatical support, sorry, for this false view to tell many lies and twist things aiming thereby to support his falsehood so you get the answer my friend it's, it's just a you know uh, muhammad is an idiot of the village and you get the point didn't you and again this is the link i will post it again you can save it so in case you met a potato he tried to throw some tomato at you throw this watermelon on him now we go back to our topic how many animals Allah created? We have a Muhammad and his name is Ali Jamal. The only uh, Muhammad and he volunteered to call me is a girl. Her name is Fakira. I hope it's not her. And she always used female names. Let us see. Ali Jamal. He says, call me and I will bust you. And we are trying to call. It says Ali is not online. Let us try again. Maybe Allah shut him down. If you are a Muhammadan and you like to join us, please feel free. We will be easy and nice with you, but we will not be easy and nice on Islam, just to let you know. You know, I have nothing against you as a person. You might be a, you know, a good person. You might be a bad person. Who cares? This is not my business. But I am here to prove Islam is a scam. Now, how many animals Allah created? Any Muslim can tell us. According to the Quran, the yellow page of Muhammad, if we go in the Quran, it says that everything between the earth and the heaven is created by Allah. Which is very funny. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to call him. It says here he is trying to call me too. But when I call him, it says offline. Let us try to call him. We will give it another try. Give me a second. We are calling Ali Jamal, but you see, it says 
is not online, so I don't know. But then he tried to call me, but it doesn't go through. I don't know. Maybe he is using the internet of the neighbors as usual. Try one more time. Okay, that's no way to not to waste time then. It's not working. <clears throat> so uh, Allah He created the earth and the heaven and whatever between them in six days. And there is tons of verses in the Quran as you see. Uh, you know, mentioning that. As an example here. Or here. Chapter 32, verse number 4. Chapter 25, verse number 59. Chapter 50, verse number 38, etc. So, Allah is the one who created whatever is between the earth and the heaven. What is beyond? There's nothing beyond? Very weird. Anyway. Uh, but my question is, how many animals Allah he created and he sent down how many animals Allah created and he sent down any Muhammadan can tell us let us go to the Quran Actually, I wasn't sure what to call this video because one of you actually asked me to speak about how Allah, he created the pig. And that is a different story, which is very funny. Maybe later we can speak about it. If we go in the Quran, in the chapter of Hud, you will see a very weird, stupid, so-called verse. Here it says, chapter 6, verse number 143, is telling us there is eight animals that went in the ark of Noah. Eight. And the Muslims, they explain to you what are they. So they give like, you see those brackets, it means it's not in the Quran really. They add the brackets to add things to explain the stupid Quran but we will go back to this verse let us go to a different verse and then so we can compare between them we will go to chapter 11 <laughs> it's called hood a hey, Muslim what hood mean they will say to you hood is a prophet hey hello <laughs> really <laughs> okay how are you doing mr. hood Hmm. All right, all right. <clears throat> In chapter 11, verse number 40, it's the same as we just showed you in the other verse. You know, you see the Quran is not a book where you can find what you want, all the story, like a story of Noah, where we find it, it's all over the place. So when... <clears throat> Uh, the oven of water, you know, and the oven of water, by the way, in case you do not know what that oven is, do you know where the mosque of al Sahra in Jerusalem? There's a rock. The Jews, they have legions, legions, fiction stories, that when the flood of Noah happened, the water was coming from that area, and then when God decided to stop the water, he put that rock to close the faucet, which makes sense. All right? So from that area, <clears throat> the Aqsa Mosque, which used to be uh, a temple for the Jews before, and the Sahra <clears throat> uh, Masjid, uh, the water came from. However, here, Stain us that Allah told him <coughs> to carry with him. Uh, if you read the translation, it says the following We said, Load therein two of every kind. 
Who want to bet that this is a very false, stupid translation? Have nothing to do with the truth. What do you think? Who want to bet? Is it really, it says, take two of everything? I will change the translator and I want you, I will take a screenshot <clears throat> so we can compare. Remember, the translation we are showing is made by Muslims. So both translation is made by Muslims. This is a translation of Bigtal. I will switch, let us see, uh, Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali, it says, from each time, from each kind to same. Okay. Let us switch to other translator. Hilali and Khan. We are trying our luck. What we can say. All right. So we said embark therein and each of, uh, uh, of each kind too. Male and female between two brackets. Okay, saying the same. We keep trying our luck. Maybe we can find a little decency with somebody. Let us see Arbury. Hmm. Two of every kind. It says the same. Let us see uh, what his name this guy. Ahmad Raza Khan. Okay, Ahmad Raza Khan. We said board into the ship a couple male and female it's the same and then now we got no luck uh community allah i think they copy from each other i, I don't think even they are reading the quran board of every into a pair of every kind <laughs> okay i will continue what this guy name? Dry Daddy. All right. Okay. From every kind to. You see, until now, not even one of them he has been honest in the translation. In Arabic, it says here, Zawjain Ithnain. And this is showing you how stupid the Quran. Because when you say Zawjain, already you say two. The stupid Muhammad, he added the word ithnain, which means two. So what that will make it? Two and two. I will copy this word, the same sentence, and try to find it in different verse in the Quran. This is the same chapter, verse number 1140. Chapter 13, verse number 3. The exact same sentence. Look at them. You see them? Both of them, they are in yellow. Do you see it? It's exactly the same thing. All right. Chapter 13, verse number 3. Let us see what it says. And uh, we created from every kind in pairs that's a false translation this is translation of who uh khattab let us see yusuf ali ah uh, we got them busted <laughs> So do you see what Zawjain Ithnain mean? Two and two. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, and they say to you the Quran in Arabic is beyond, beyond imagination. You cannot believe it. 
So you stupid Muhammad, how you just said already pairs in the sentence? It says pairs, and then you say two. You just said pairs. So the stupid Muhammad, he said in Arabic, Zawjain is nine pair, two pair, two pair. That make them two and two. And this is why here even this, the, the, the translator, he is really confused what to say. Because it says pair, he have to put it. And then it says two. So now it's pairs two and two. <laughs> but you will notice, you will notice we are searching the same phrase in many verses and the Muhammadan keep lying, saying the word mean pairs only. But in fact, it means pairs two and two. And this is not my translation. So now we will take this and put it in the side. This is a chapter 11, verse number 3. Let us take a screenshot. And remember the Muhammadan, they say that the Quran have zero contradiction. Let us go here and we will type the word Zawjain. Hmm? Let us see the word Zawjain. As again, it appears in chapter 11, verse number 40. Again, appear in 13, 3. Which is 2 and 2 again. And then we go. We continue. Chapter 23, verse number 27. And this is again the story about who? About uh, Noah. Let us click in it. Do you see here how they lie? They say each kind, male and female, take and board. Each kind, two, male and female. However, I want to stop here and go back to chapter 11, verse number 40. And you can make a short video about it, and you can call it how Allah, he created the pig. Anyone knows how Allah created the pig? Let us go to Ibn Kathir, who is in his time a person like a YouTuber, trying to refute the Christians. And he is supposed to present the smart Muslims, the educated one. You cannot beat that, you know. So Ibn Kathir, he looked at his Quran and what his, his prophet taught him, and he decided to write a book about it, book after book. For sure, he is the scholar of YouTube at that time. For sure, at that time, there's no YouTube, but Allah make things available for them. So uh, the Muslim, they decided to explain to us how, where is the pig is coming from? I don't know if we will find that in the English translation. Uh, obviously, it's not here. Okay, hold on. Oh, we are typing in English. Sometimes you type the whole line and then you find yourself typing in the wrong language. <clears throat> to make it short for you, Allah, he created the pig from the ass of the elephant. How Allah created the pig. If we go and read uh, and here I like you know when the Muslim they uh, when the Muslim they show us Ibn Kathir, we don't find really uh, 
We don't find what it says in English. I don't see the word there. Anyone see it in the Ibn Kathir? I don't see anything even about the elephant. Uh, but anyway, let us see. So we can show you the reference. <clears throat> Which, by the way, all of this is proven to be very scientifically accurate. If you don't believe me, ask Lili Dawa. Christian Prince, I'm telling you, this is very scientific. Honey, can you give me a grape to support my, my claim? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let us go to Al Qurtubi as long as we could not find it. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so this is Al Qurtubi as an example, not limited. As you see, we support what we say from their books. You know, I, I have nothing to do with it, it's your books. Don't cry and make a drama, and you know. So we will search for the word elephant. Here we go. It says here, it's reported from Ibn Hamid, etc. From 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 that when Allah He ordered Noah to go to the ship, Allah He ordered him to wipe the tail of the elephant. And when he wiped the tail of the elephant, from it came two pigs. Two pigs. Okay. And the mice gave birth inside the the I mean look look how connected the sentence. I mean, they are talking about how the pigs are created. Let us use Google Translation. <clears throat> Elephant, let us search the easiest way, like you know, you search for the word. Here we go. So he was commanded to wipe the tail of the elephant, so he whipped it, and two pigs came out of it, which make a lot of sense, you know. Uh Allah he hate pigs, but Allah wanted to survive the pigs, and he insists. To put them in a cruise ship. I mean, why you wanna? As long as the pigs are dirty and they are uh, filthy and etc. And then Allah, He created the pig from the tail of the elephant, which is a true story. The same as the story in Ibn Kathir, if you remember, we mentioned it before that uh, how Allah created the cat. He made the lion have a flu, so Noah can take him inside the ship easy. He have a flu, he's sick, and then he sneezes. And when he sneezed, two cats came out from his mouth. One is male and one is female. <laughs> two boogers. <laughs> now we go back to the main, the main question. So we can make a video about those one. Like make a short video. How Allah created the pig. Let everybody laugh. As you see, those are not our websites. You know, those are not me saying that. We have... Uh, their books, we have their scholars. They, those are the big scholars, you know. Those are not the, the the ones they can deny and say, oh, you know. And they are reporting from the time of the Prophet and the Sahaba said so, the companion they said so, etc. So all the garbage in their books, they try to duct tape it by saying, oh, we don't accept the Hadith, oh, we don't accept, etc. Uh, but you know, it's there. This is the seer at Tabari, and we can find it actually in different, uh, you know, uh, in different uh, books, tons of books, not only one. Uh, as an example, we can find it. Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's a Muslim website, they blocked me from coming there. Can you believe it? Uh, okay. Like this is Tafsir as Samarqandi, but this one is in Google uh, BDF uh, book. So I don't think I don't know if I can translate that or not. Like you know, you see here it says, 
So how Allah He created the pig? He asked Noah to wipe his uh, the, the the ass of the the tail of the elephant, and then the pig came out. And I mean, you you get that you you get the point. Now we go back to the previous drama. But you know, like I I try to open in Ibn Kathir, uh, but I cannot find it in Ibn Kathir. You know, here at least. Let us see. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah. Any anyway, like you know, we 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 exposed them many times that in Ibn Kathir, the Muslim they don't really. Uh, uh, you know, translate Ibn Kathir as it is, they take everything is embarrassing. This is why the translation of Ibn Kathir is not even 5% of the real Ibn Kathir books. They shrink. It's a miracle. You know, duct tape shrink. Uh, anyway. You know, when people send me especially Christian, they send me text messages in Skype, I will block you. I mean, when we say Christians call me, nobody call. When we say don't call me, why you are texting me? I mean, everybody is in the chat. Are you special? I just blocked you. Anyway, so we go back to our serious question. And I say serious because this is showing us how stupid the Quran is. When the Quran speak about, about Allah he carried, or Noah he carried from everything to, male and female, and then we find that the verse says, Allah created from everything to and to, which is, you know, very stupid to say. And then we find that the verse says, Allah created everything from just two, which means male and female. But the verse says two and two is contradiction for everything. But there is something even more stupid. As an example, let us go here. Chapter 6, verse number 143. Who is a Muhammad and he can call us voluntarily and read for us what we see in front of us? Who is a Muhammadan? He have the courage to call us and read this verse. Do you see everything between the bracket is not in the Quran? And here you see how stupid the author of the Quran. How you say, look, the Muhammadan they try to fix the stupidity. Here it says eight. Here it says four. And here it says pairs. Hold on. Did he say eight pairs or he said four pairs? How we can put those both in the same line? I Any mean, Muhammad I can explain the stupidity. Did Allah order? Noah to carry two and two or only two of every kind, male and female. Anyone? And then there is other verse we will show it to you, which is going to be more hilarious too. Just wait. We are just waiting for a Muhammadan to get excited. Any Muhammadan, he is excited. You know, if this is a channel run by someone, his name is James, or someone like Ali Lidawa, he said to uh, uh, Apostle Prophet, recite for me this verse, okay? You said you are an ex-Muslim, recite this verse for me. Uh, Apostle Prophet, he said, I don't know how to recite. He said, see, <laughs> he's ex-Muslim. <laughs> 
as if Ali Dawa, he knew how to recite it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Hmm. I'm waiting. Do we have any Muslim, any Muhammadan got excited? I'm very disappointed that the Muhammadan, they are totally ashamed of their religion and not even one of them there to call me and uh, get me busted. Obviously, they knew that this is stupid. So look what they, what, what they do. I'm going to change the translator. I'm not going to change the Quran. I will take a screenshot. As evidence. Who is the translator here? This is Yusuf Ali. Okay, so now we will change the translator. Let us see a different one. Again, we are not translating the Quran. This is their translation. So we switch from Yusuf Ali. Let us try Hilali, Muhammad Hilali, and Muhammad Khan. Okay. Look at this. There's no four. Eight pairs. Eight pairs. Allah, he created from everything eight pairs. All the animals he created are eight pairs. Allah in the chapter six, chapter six, by the way, it's called Al-An'am, which means animals, animals, cattle. So Allah now is showing us what he did, the accomplishment report about the camel he made. Which is the story is mixed up and like, you know, like if you read the story here, what does the story have to do? Verse number 140 with the verse after it, nothing, eh, nothing, stupidity, you know, but anyway. So if you continue, you will see it says, and of the cattle between two brackets are some of for burden like camels, etc. And some are small. <laughs> they carry to carry the burden like sheep, goat, etc. And for food and meat. <laughs> but then you go after it and then it says, suddenly it says, eight pairs. Okay. How in the world this sentence in Arabic makes sense? Like, do you see even and? No. Okay, how we jump to the number eight? What? How we can start a sentence with saying eight pairs? And then it says, eight pairs of sheep. Between two brackets, which means it's not in the Quran. It says two. Hold on, hold on. You just said eight pairs. And now you are saying two. Who want to help me with the mathematics? Eight pairs of sheep. Two. And from the goats, two. Read with me. And this is not my words. So now we have two sheep. Uh, Allah now is using his Arabic skills to explain to us what he meant by the eight pairs. So two sheep, two goats. This is not my translation. Muhammadan, don't cry. Okay. Between two brackets, male and female. Okay. What is the eight? Okay, we have two sheep, male and female, and we have two goats. How he say eight pairs? Do you know what eight pairs mean? <laughs> Those are not eight pairs. Those are eight individual then. When you say eight pairs, that means there is eight pairs. When you say there is eight, that means there is only eight. 
So when I add the word pairs, they are not eight, they are, they are 16. And now the stupid Allah, Aka Muhammad, the philosopher of the philosophy, he decided to explain to the Muhammadan what is the eight pairs. The conclusion is there are four. And Muhammad even make it more stupid. Those eight pairs are made in where? Who can help me? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyone knows who you made them where? It's not in China. I mean, come on, don't go there. Brother, the Quran is made by God. There's no question about that. That's no question. Now we pass the first stupid things. Maybe this is second, third in this video. Not to mention how Allah created the pig from the ear, from the ass on the tail of the elephant, which makes sense. I mean, look at the face of the elephant and the face of the pig. There is some similarity. Like, you know, somehow they are, look, uh, you know. Now, how Allah, where Allah, he created those eight pairs. Any Muhammadan? Is it true that Allah, he sent them down from heaven? Let us go and search the yellow pages of Muhammad. Look at this, chapter 39, verse number 6. He created you of a single soul, and he made and made his spouse therefrom. And of the cattle, he sent down into you eight pairs. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The Muhammadan, they say to you, do you read the Brother and sister, if you read in the Quran, you will find in the Quran, in the of Hadid, it said that Allah hit in the Quran. In the Quran, he said that Allah hit in the iron. And the Quran says, there was no iron, and, and the iron, most of it, it came in from the space. So how Allah he knew, if Allah is not God, that Aaron is coming from the faith. Or Allah, he said everything he said, send down. The Aaron, the underwear, even feather. And as you see, he sent down eight cattle. And of the cattle, he sent down. So is the goats are coming from. Remember the Quran, the previous verse explained to us, according to Muhammadan, according to Allah himself, that they are two goats, two sheep. Two goats, two sheep. Not me who's saying that. This is the Quran. The Quran used the word goats, not me. The Quran used the word sheep, not me. So it says here, eight, eight pairs, which is a stupid to say, because as we said, eight pairs is not uh, uh, like two kinds of animals, male and female. So sheep and goat. So where Allah he sent down sheep and goat from? From heaven. I'm not the one who's saying that. The verse in the front of you. So he created a few of single soul, soul and made uh, uh, his spouse therefrom, and of the cattle he sent down into you eight pairs. He repeat the same story again. Stupid, stupid number. Eight pairs. Who is the Muhammadan wanna call me and tell me the story of the eight pairs? How a goat, sheep, two sheep, two goat became eight pairs. And is it true Allah he sent them down from heaven? 
And what about the rest of the animals? I'm not going to mention the pig because now we understand how Allah created the pig. Allah, he ordered Noah to wipe the, the, the tail of the elephant and, uh, you know, the pigs came out. We don't want to explain the cats because Allah, he made the lion sneeze. Okay. But Allah, he sent down eight pairs, according to the Quran. They are two sheep and two goats. Where is the camel coming from? Do we have any Mohammedan? I have zero text in my sky from Muslims, so don't tell me somebody wanna call me. If you wanna call me, he can just call. There's no need for drama. I wanna challenge you, I wanna debate you. My Skype is open. Just text me, I will call you. And the admins are posting my Skype in the chat. So as you see, Muhammad is a Bedouin man as the Mohammedan themselves, they call him illiterate. And illiteracy, by the way, because Mohammedan are ignorant, illiteracy is not about going to school and not going to school. What is meant in the Quran, that Muhammad is a pagan man and the Arab are pagans. How we can get them busted so easy? You know, if you go in the Quran, it takes you two seconds. It says that those who do not know the book are called illiterate. You know, when the Muhammadan they claim that they knew their book, I say to you always, Muhammadan are the last ones, the last ones ever, who can explain their book for you. Because they have a motive and permission to lie, this is number one. They have, uh, 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 look what I found. Man. Yes, Allah, he said he created eight pairs, and total is four. The catch, he was like, what? Who? Who said that? What? You know, she don't believe it. You better believe it. I mean, even cats. Do you remember the cat who did not walk on the Quran? Do you remember it? The Muslim make millions of people watch the cat who don't walk in the Quran because this is a holy book. And then there is then many people they make videos about cats walking in the Quran and eating the Quran. The cat she could not believe how good the mathematics of a Prophet Muhammad and his God Allah. Even though she is disappointed because she was expecting him to say, I created eight mice. But he's talking about two goats and two sheep, and those are eight pairs. This is what it's called advanced advanced scientific mathematics. And the Muslim, they say to you, who is the one who created Al-Jabra 2? Al-Jabra 2 is created by someone, he's a Sabi, and he's not even a Muslim, and you have nothing to do with him. They hijack everybody, every scientist in the world. One day, they will say, Christian Prince, when he died, he gave Allah a finger and he said, Shahada, just wait. Do we have a Muhammadan? Hmm? I'm telling you, the Quran is astonishing. So Allah created eight pairs, and then we find that they are not eight pairs, they are eight animals, not 16, because Allah is stupid. And then Allah, He decided that those eight pairs are sent down from heaven. He sent down. Isn't it you Muslim, you say, Allah, he said, send down the book. He said, send down the iron, and you take it literally. So why now? Why not now? The same sentence. Anzala. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to volunteer to explain to this astonished cat that this is not what you think? Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and would like to email Zakir Naik and give him my question so he can explain it to I want to see how I will be it will be interesting how to Zakir Naik he will answer it. What do you think? What Zakir Naik will say? 
Good time, Prince. First of all, you don't speak Arabic. Oh, what the heck? Secondly, I'm not going to answer you about number eight. Because Allah, when he said eight, he made four. Because Allah always, he like to speak 50-50. As an example, you are marrying a woman. She is 50 and you are 50. But you are two. But Allah, he mentioned that you are 50 and you're 50. So 50, 10, 50. Why is that going on? What 50, 50, what other? And stop spitting, man. It says eight pairs. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, are you a Muslim, my friend? Shas? Uh, guys, eight pairs, two pairs sheep. Two pairs goats. What? I'm sure you are a person who graduated from not Harvard University, from Taliban University. What the heck is that? That's deep. Look at those numbers. What? I mean, who can make, look, who can come with science like this? Eight pairs, <clears throat> two pairs of sheep at equal to four, two pairs of goat equal to four, four plus four is eight. Yeah, That's what we are saying, you idiot. But he said eight pairs. Eight pairs are not eight. The number eight you put at the end is eight animals, not eight pairs of animals. What do you eat? To, what what your mom feed you every day? Just be honest with me. Hmm? Who's your friend? Is are you walking? Are you talking too much to uh, Joe Biden? This is your text. It says eight pairs. The title number is eight individual animals. They are not pairs then. Hold on. Genius. Actually, the word genie, I mean genius, is coming from a Muslim. All of them are genie. I mean genius. Do we have any Abdul? And not only that, Allah, he sent down from heaven. And not only that, Allah, he told... Noah to take from with you from every kind of animal two pairs which mean two and two <laughs> in different verse he took only two <laughs> uh, there are eight couples that's deep guys there are eight couples now we are going to the dating business. Hey, hold on. What do you mean eight couples? Aren't you the one who put those numbers for me in the screen? Look, those are your numbers. Look what he said. These are eight couples, two of sheep, two of goat. Hold on. But here it says eight pairs, which mean they are eight of two. Eight of two. And this is your numbers. Sheep is equal to four. Two is equal to two goat. Total is four, all of them. Not eight. Where do you get this uh, four plus four? What is the four plus four? Two pairs of sheep, that means there is two sheep plus two sheep. That is four. Two pairs of goats, that means two goat plus two goat. That is equal to four. This is what you are saying, right? Why well, you don't call me and explain to us your mathematics? Do you want to call me and explain to us the mathematics? Because you are smart in mathematics. Not I'm not like you.
Then the Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us that Mr. Mathematic, you know, like look at this two pairs of sheep. That is four. Okay. Two pairs of sheep. That is four. And I will go with you now. Listen, this is your numbers. So one pair is two. This is your numbers, not mine. When we say one pair, it's mean two. Two pairs of sheep, that is four. Okay. But going back, it says eight pairs. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what people eat. <clears throat> Those are your numbers. Eight pairs, you say it, not me. Two pairs of sheep is four. Two pairs of sheep is four. That means it's x2. All right. So put eight x2, 16. Do we have any uh, Mohammedan? He like Islam and he is so proud to be a Muslim. Me, myself, you know, like, you know, sometime I think about converting to Islam, but the second I, you know, I think about the promise of the Prophet making my penis endless, I'm afraid, you know. I mean, what if my penis go in the Amazon River? And those fish, man, they are so crazy, or those alligators. I mean, you don't know where your penis will end. Alien might eat it, make it sausages. Oil company, they might make it, cut it, or make it tubes. You know, they say, okay, he have endless anyway. He will not even, he will not even notice that we cut. Like if we cut, you know, 700 mile of it, he will not even notice. It's endless. So I don't know if you can tell your prophet to, I mean, the eight pairs things, I can swallow it. It's okay. I will, I will let it go. But the endless penis is something really scaring the hell of me. And you know, if my wife is next to me, or the women Allah promised me next to me, how I'm going to have sex with them if my penis is in this? Do you think it's flexible? He can make your turn, you know. So what the point? What if all those women they get upset from me and stand behind me one day? How I can even can turn back to them? Because remember, if you want to turn back, you have like, let us say they are in my back now. I am, okay, I'm going to have sex with them. So I turn. How you can turn and you have such a Venus? Bless you, Allah bless you. So the stupidity in the Quran is nothing compared to other stupidity of the Hadith. But uh, stupidity plus stupidity is a blessing stupidity. This is why I say stupidity is amazing. And always I mean the Quran. Do we have any broad, broad, broad? You see, in Arabic, we don't have P. So you might always notice that Middle Eastern, when they speak, they say broad, you know? Or they go to the store, they ask for shampoo. The guy in the store, he asked them, what kind of shampoo you want? Like there's for cats, dogs, a human. You say shampoo, I don't know. It's called shampoo. All is the same. So here Allah, he is making eight pairs and he is counting them as two sheep, two goats. Do we have any Muhammadan? And the other verse says, Allah, he created from everything, Frank thing, two and two. It's like AT and T. I like that two and two stuff, you know, like two and two and four and four and five and five, six and six. You can make a song about it. Allah created from everything two and two. He made them in pairs, two and two. You solve the problem now. In Arabic, the real language it's more about couple. Oh, I, okay, I agree. Abdul, Arabic is my language. Are you stupid or what? And you are the one who explained to us, are you stupid or what? Isn't it, this is your numbers? Guys, this guy is trying to fix it. And now he is expert in Arabic, but I assure you, you don't speak Arabic. All those Mohammedan who try to school you in Arabic, they don't even know Arabic. 
So, uh, Christian Brent. Listen, Christian Brent. Uh, okay, what? In Arabic, the real language. <laughs> I'm surprised, my friend, that Arabic is the real language. <laughs> okay. It talk more about couples. Okay, I agree. I agree. I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, did I? Did I agree? Eight couples. You idiot. You, it's you who just said eight couples. Eight couples. I mean, who is the stupid here? If we have eight couples, that make them sixteen. I mean, do, do you even read what you wrote? Are you under stress because your mother-in-law is forcing you to forge dishes and doing laundry today? You just said it's eight couples. It's about couples, so the word zoj mean couples. Wonderful. Eight couples. That is 16. Cuckoo. Go back to Mickey Mouse. My friend Quran will make you lose my your mind. Do it. even the cat she is astonished by your intelligence. Look. I mean, this is this cat was normal by the way. But since she started watching my program, she is standing up like this all the time. And even she is getting some gray hair because she could not believe what she is hearing the smart the intelligence of people in the world muhammad and around the world is giving amazing answers beyond catism understanding you know like the biggest philosopher of the catism sect could not understand the smartism of muhammadism All right, we have a caller. Hello? Hello, CP. Hey, my friend, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. And you? I am astonished. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Kazim on the line. I, I yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw your message. You said, uh, look like you agree with me finally, huh? Yeah, yeah like because I... I when I got to Moscow, I asked one of the sheikhs that I want them to talk to one Christian guy. He said, "No, no, no, I shouldn't talk to those guys. That that it was Allah that misled them. I shouldn't talk to." He those said, guys. "He said what? He said what? It is Allah, Allah that misled them. Like ah, he, Allah misled us. Them. Yeah, but you know, uh, Kazim, I want to go back with you when you text me first time, and I'm showing your text now, if you don't mind, in in Skype. You said to me." You are lying about the Holy Prophet. May Allah guide you. Do you remember uh, your text? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that I, okay. I sent you. Why you said that to me? Uh, because most people, they just stay on YouTube and they start lying to people and start saying, even even though you, even some people, when they, oh, they, they never meet you before, they, you guys have never met, they start saying bad things about you, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but what? Uh, no problem. But I mean, when you were watching my videos, didn't you see I show reference? No, although I've not really watched tons of your videos, I only watch and uh, one two videos. But the video was just like an argument, argue like you're arguing with somebody. So it's not like a clear. Mm. It's not like I've known Christian Prince for a long time. So I'm I want to ask you now: as long as you agree with me, do you think Allah guided you? <laughs> Do you believe Islam is false? <laughs> no, yeah, the, the thing, the, what I'm thinking now is that I'm not even thinking about, I believe all religion is calm. That's what I just think. Okay, so now you agree, but, it, but first of all, so do you agree that Islam is a, is a fraud? Muhammad is a fraud, is mm -hmm. a fraud. Because how can, like, the benefit number 10 that I read about, that if Muhammad sets his eyes on any woman, Mm -hmm. Married or no married, the husband must divorce. Must divorce, her, right? But this is nice, actually, you know, because you know what. So what does that have to help the religion? Oh what no, no, no! I will, I will tell you how it helps. That will make the prophet eyes 
more strong because a woman she walk by if you look at her ass and he like he's shown you that the prophet he have a radar he is observant he is sent by Allah so he see a woman he like her ass and then her husband he have to divorce <laughs> no because if you what I started looking at is that you see did uh, did Musa behave like that no or the LS prophet did he behave that way yeah, yeah so but those you are, know, you, yeah. You, sometimes you need to check fats you know yeah, but you know, and, but but you see, didn't you notice that the women, uh, like when the when the Muslims speak about the Prophet, he like a woman. He you know he if his eyes fall on her, which means he like her. Her husband have to divorce her. Didn't you notice that not a Muslim is bothered and angry from this? Well, I'm not. Uh, I've not. Well, see, I <laughs> like I don't even know what to say, but. Open this, I'm hearing for the first time. You never heard any, any because yeah, well, in, in Nigeria we call we don't call most of the Islamic teachers we don't call them sheikhs we call them uh, mustas or we call them alfas. Mm -hmm. So those guys they just keep on and they don't even like you to ask them questions because they they said according to the Quran you're not supposed to ask questions you're not supposed to question the revelation. So if you're asking too much questions they get very very angry with you. But you know, don't you agree that if the prophet, like let us say, he is walking on down the street and he saw a woman, she have a nice ass. So he said to himself, okay, you know what? I mean, I'm a prophet of Allah and I have a privilege. It's called the ass privilege. So Allah, he wanted to make Muhammad happy. So he started receiving ass uh, privilege. I mean, why why it doesn't make sense that is not a, a prophet will not behave that way that is a gang leader it's not a prophet it's a gang leader and you see as i'm saying all this is very very hard for me because you see ramadan is starting very soon and you see like even <clears throat> i don't know what like you are saying it in a funny way but to me it's not funny like i i Okay, in fact, I don't just keep saying what you want to say because I I don't know what to say. Well, you have uh, you have you know I, I advise you to take camel urine three times a day, so your memory will be more refreshed. But uh, you know uh, when you say that you not you notice uh, about the privilege I spoke about the prophet if he like a woman has her husband have to take her, you will notice that the husband he don't mind. Do you see how much love? I mean the prophet he can take any woman from her husband. And the husband, he will be honored. He's honored. Even her kids will be honored that the prophet is going to do boom, boom to their mother. So, my friend, you get it in the wrong way. I mean, who in the world will not be honored that the prophet decide to like his mom or his wife and not even a single Muslim ask himself, what kind of a pervert prophet I have? Let me tell you one thing. Like, you see... <laughs> It, in Nigeria is not a small country. We have over 115 million Muslims. Yeah. Let me tell you, you see what I'm telling you now. Like, it's not even almost everybody that have uh, a little bit of knowledge. Like, some people, when you start telling them that, some people never read their this before. Because yeah. we were just taught to memorize uh, the Quran. And see, CP, you know how this, I'm very, very emotional right now because, you see, my childhood, I know what I went through to learn this Quran. I know how many times I got abused by my affairs, got beaten just because I'm only I was unable to memorize the Quran. Yeah. I know how, how how I was being beaten. Like I don't know if if it's like that in all countries, but in Nigeria you get beaten too. No, they do, they do. This is the, the especially when you are young. I got beaten several times. That so many times I don't even go to 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 madrasat i don't even go like so many times even if i even get home my my parents they beat me up just because i was unable to memorize this and this i was talking about when i was nine years old eight years old to 11 years old we got beat and there's no no nigerian every muslim in nigeria would testify to this we got we, we learning the quran is not something you just you just learn naturally you get beaten, you get abused by their fathers and everything. And this is very, very, very tough, even though we don't even know the meaning. Yeah. Well, this is what we do here, my friend. This is why, uh, 
you know, we are sharing with the Muslims around the world. We don't hate Muslims, actually, we're trying to save them. And here we go, you are a person who called me a liar, just what, you called me last time in March 12, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah March 12, I'm looking, it's actually, it's Sunday, it's Sunday. So March 12, you call, you know, you text me, you said you are lying. And uh, now, the, the thing, a week I after, see, you sorry changed. To call you, sorry to call you, but what I'm just trying to say is that you can do it in a nice way, right? It's not like insulting, insulting, because insulting will not even make people pay attention. Like what I know now, most Nigerians don't know this, right? Yeah, but don't you notice that if you are not, the second you say the truth, you are insulting. I know, but the the way you do it, like you're aggressive, like. But oh, as you see, here we go. No. I am aggressive with you, but you left us now. But I, but how uh, uh, many times have you seen Muslim insulting Jesus? This is not about Christ insult. You know, if he is bad, insult him. This is your business. But I'm not insulting. If, if the, the truth is, I'm saying just the truth. So the truth is insulting. Muhammad is a stupid. Muhammad is a pervert. Muhammad is a thief. Muhammad is a criminal. So what I should say? Should say he's a nice guy. The whole point then is gone because the whole point is to show you that Muhammad is a very, very bad person. So if I am going to be sugarcoating what you already, since you are a kid, they are sugarcoating this prophet. He is amazing. The best man in the world. And you know, you know the funniest part, uh, shall I tell you something? Okay. You see, my the, the funniest part is that my wife, right? She was a Christian. Mm. I was the one who converted her to Islam, who okay. gave her an Islamic name. That oh, I'm not gonna marry you if you don't. So now I don't. This is so heavy for me to even tell her that I'm not even confident because she's even preparing for Ramadan already. Huh. Well, just tell her the so, truth, and she will let, let her leave the cult, you know. Because now you know you are you are uh, you, you might even cause harm to your family if your kids became Muslim too, because you don't want them to be following false cult which is a sexual cult you know obviously violent evil teaching hatred and it's against your humanity no wonder if you say one thing about the prophets most especially in the northern part of nigeria i'm telling you you're gonna be killed you're gonna be killed in, My friend, in your house you can you know do, do things in your house for the benefit of your house i cannot advise you to do to say more but uh, this is what we are here doing. We can say here what they cannot say maybe in Nigeria. So a person like you can hear it and he will leave Islam. And, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to see tens of thousands of people who watch my videos left Islam. I don't know even how big the number is, but every day almost there is a person is texting me. Like now, I went online, you text me, you know, saying that obviously you agree with me. So there is always people leaving Islam left and right and uh, uh, we are able to say what you cannot say in Nigeria. So I leave that job for me. However, it you know start with your family, your kids, your wife, so they cannot be fooled in the future. Yeah, my my wife was not born a Muslim, right? I Me, mean, I was born Muslim, right? That's uh, I don't even have choice to choose my religion at birth, right? Yeah. But she just because I wanted to marry, and I told her that you know what, you have to become a Muslim. And she did that for love, you know. Now I don't even know how I'm going to face this woman and start telling her all these stories. Because as I'm telling you now, I'm not, I don't even believe in any... I, don't, I just believe religion is a scam because we have our... Uh, Nigeria have their own African spirituality before all this religion came. Now it's just like, in fact, I don't know. But, you know, if you think about it, Islam is just another cult uh, uh you know which uh, help many people in their uh, in, in staying stupid because sometimes a human being he needs to, to stay stupid he cannot be smart uh, being a smart is going to uh, hurt, hurt you hurt your feeling uh so islam is a very drug heavy drug will keep a society which is not educated society in the drug mood and this is why you will notice uh, like as an example in Israel, Hamas, Hamas is a terrorist organization. The Israeli, they release the leader of Hamas. At that time, it was very small, tiny. They release him on purpose so Hamas can grow. Hamas means ignorant, stupidity, and advanced people. And that will be 
very suitable for the Israeli. They don't want to be have an enemy who is smart, educated, advanced. They want to have an enemy who is stupid. And Islam is a perfect religion to keep them down. And this is why you will see the Israeli, they always favor, favor the existence of those organizations. As an example, Netanyahu, he was supporting uh, the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria. Well, how in the world he support the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria, but he is fighting the Muslim Brotherhood in Gaza? It doesn't make sense. But in the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria, they will destroy Syria. The Muslim Brotherhood in Gaza, they are just, they use them to divide the, the so-called Palestinian, so they will not be united ever. They will be killing each other. In the same time, they in, like divide and conquer. So they do it, they do it because they knew Islam is a very, very, very easy gadget to destroy any country. Self-destruction religion. You, know, you, you notice every Muslim country who is, the more close you are to Islam, the more savage the country is and the more beyond. Uh, uh, as an example, Egypt before Islam was a very huge civilization. Even when the Alexander the Great came, he, put, he built Alexandria and the biggest library in the world was there. Ibn, Ibn Khaldun, he said, that when the Muslim occupied those countries, he said that a, a Bedouin Muslim is willing to burn a library in order to cook food. So they start taking books and they burn it just to cook. And this is Ibn Khaldun, he's a Muslim. And the Muslim, even they are proud about him. So you can go and read it and you can search it right now online. So this is, this is what Islam does. Islam is anti-intelligence. Islam is anti-advanced. And the only one who will be advanced in the future is the one who practice the fake version of Islam, like maybe Imarat. Like in Emirat, they have mosques in every corner, but in the, the TV in Sky News, they are they are having now a, a, a historian. He is from Syria. His name is Firas Sawa. I had made a video about him. He said many things which is against the Quran, and not even a single Muslim opened his mouth. They are trying to kill Islam slowly. Like in 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 Emirat now, they have nightclubs. Women sleep, you know, swim in the bikini, drinking, etc. But the second you bring Islam into the country, people will leave. Qatar, they have a lot of money, so their wealth is not really from being advanced. Their wealth is from the gas and the, and the oil. So th their wealth is staying as long as the oil is staying. The second you take the oil from them, they are going to be demolished. So the Prince of Qatar start bringing, like now, they were fighting over the, the FIFA to bring the football game to Qatar. They bribe a lot of a bribe to bring them because they are trying to make Qatar survive in the future because the gas will not be the only solution. They don't want it to be only solution. In Saudi Arabia, the, 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 the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, he demolished the, the Islamic police. Why? This guy is a new generation. He noticed that as long as those people exist, this country will be doomed forever. If we practice Islam really as it is, when Saudi Arabia is going to have a future, never will have a future. So what he did, Right away, he did everything against Islam. There's now theaters, there's movies, there's festivals, there's a, a movie a, a award, there's singing awards, there is dancing, there's nightclubs, there is, uh, uh, he's opening a project now for tourism. Uh, women, they can drive, women, they don't need to, to put their hijab. So everything Saudi Arabia have since 1400 years ago, which kept the Saudi way from any civilization, down in the Bedouin mood. Now they are trying to change it by getting rid of Islam. So even the Muslim, they notice that Islam is a problem. The second you bring Islam to any country, the country will be destructed and destroyed. Afghanistan used to be a great civilization before. Muslims came. They start even bombing, even ancient buildings, ancient temples, which can even bring them a lot of income from tourism. So this religion, the Muslim Brotherhood actually, when they won the election in Egypt, their plan is in less than three or five years, they will destroy all the ancient buildings of Egypt because it's haram, haram. So the prophet, he can sleep with your wife and if he, his eyes fall in your, uh, in your wife, you have to divorce her, that is okay. But those buildings are haram. 
So Islam is a self-destruction cult and anyone who is an enemy to any country would love to see Islam spread there because this is the best way to self-destruction any country. You do not need even to go in war with them. Go and look in, at Pakistan. You know, go look in, uh, in Lebanon. Go to the Christian area, go to the Muslim area. It's like you you, you move to a different country. Go to, to, uh, uh, to Israel. You go to the Muslim area, you go to the Jewish area. It's like you are in a different galaxy. What a different? I mean, what a different? They are getting a lot of money support, even for United Nations. But still, their street is dirty. They don't have jobs. They keep having babies. The street is full of kids. There is no education. You know, the, the, so Islam is the best way to control your enemy. You destroy your enemy. You demolish your enemy by having Islam in the spot. Islam is like a cancer. There is somebody who is strong. Somebody is healthy. You throw cancer at him, just and give him time, and then he will collapse. This is how I see Islam, my friend. Anyway, I'm happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. For me, I would like to invite you to believe and to, to accept Christ as your savior, but I cannot encourage you unless you have, you know, um, CP, fearing to I understand. I appreciate all what you, you are doing. Huh? But you see, the thing is that I'm not going to rush into any religion for now. All because right. as I am, as I am now, if I can read about it, if I like it, no problem. But for now, I don't think it's a good idea to jump into some something else that I don't. No, I don't want you to jump, my friend. I don't want you to jump. So, and you see, we are not the same as the Muhammadan. Or say shahada, and that's it. You have to believe, and you have to know what you believe in before you believe. The Muhammadan, because they collect anything. It's like somebody going, you know, like you see a piece of paper there, anything in their way, they take it. A pimp, he converts to Islam. They are proud about him. A pimp, he converts to Christianity unless he repent and give all the money he gave from that business he is no christian so we have we are totally different christianity is an individual faith relation uh, with god i ask uh, you something sure uh, most of uh, our uh, sheikhs they tell they, they used to tell us that the masjid that uh, oh those christians don't listen to them you see they have their books have been corrupted and those guys are liars. They are just bringing different books. Some books have 87, some have 77, some have 60 something. Hmm. They're just adding different things to it. it, it they said, oh, don't listen to those Well, guys. this is their stupidity okay. because, my friend, those numbers you are talking about, you see the, the word Bible, do you know what Bible means? What is it? The book of books. There's many books. It's not one book. So uh, there is some churches, they say we should put the books of tradition as part of the Bible. They some some they say no we should not that's all tradition books or we don't have tradition books would mean the church father the earliest a time we add them or we don't add them so both of them they are right because this is about christianity too and but still they are not god they are people who wrote books from the early time so those who would say to you their books is corrupted actually they are stupid because by saying that they are going giving a screwdriver to Allah. Isn't it Allah is the one who sent the Injil? According to the Quran, Allah He sent only one book. It's called the Injil. To the Christian, correct? Yeah, and the Torah. Okay. No, not to the Christian now. To the Christian. Because the Muslim they say that Allah He sent only one book to, to Isa, one by one. So according to the Quran, there's only one book. But the Quran confirmed. What is between the hand of the Christians in the time of Muhammad? And as you see, we have tons of verses in the Quran. So when a Muhammadan he say that the book of the Christians is corrupted, he is giving two fingers to Allah, one in his eyes and one in his bum. Why? Because first, if Allah he send the Injil and then the Injil is corrupted, that's not my problem. That means Allah cannot preserve his book. But isn't it the Quran said? that no one can corrupt the word of Allah? And is the Injil, the Injil is the word of Allah? Yes, but the Muslim, they say, no, no, Allah, he meant the Quran by saying nobody can corrupt his words. But Allah did not even say the Quran. And say, secondly, if Allah, he decided only the Quran not to be corrupted, that means he decided 
to corrupt the Bible because according to Muslims everything everything happened by the will of Allah so if somebody corrupted the the Bible that's mean by the will of Allah so the the simple question you asked to Muhammadan when he said the Bible is corrupted ask him by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah in a second he will say to you by the will of Allah so Allah is a complex of the corruption and he is the devil same time that contradicts what the Quran is saying that nobody can change the word of Allah and this is going to contradict what the Quran is saying in many places that the Quran confirming even what is between their hands so I say to those who say such a thing to you they are ignorant stupid and they are copy paste like insect you know insect all of them do look the same all of them do look the same you can't even recognize which one is the fly but uh, the the book that uh, the, the Allah sent down the the Torah and the Jew was it uh, like it was given to Isa, right? So is it that same copy they have or? My friend, the second Allah he used the word Injil is proven to us that Muhammad is a stupid ignorant, because the word Injil that means Allah he is approving the Greek book of the Bible only, not a Hebrew, not Aramaic, and that means that Allah he think that Jesus is a Greek person because isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people correct yeah okay so if Allah he sent a book to Jesus and that book is in Jeel, that means this book is Greek yeah that's mean Jesus is a Greek because Allah will not send any messenger never sent and he said that in the time of Muhammad we never send the messenger except by the tongue of his own people, which means he have to be. There's two conditions. He have to be from the people, and he have to give it in the language of his people. So according to the stupid Quran, Jesus was a Greek, and he spoke a Greek, and his book was called Injil. And now in Arabic, we are using the word Injil because simply we don't have a replacement for it because this is the name. So the stupid Muhammad, he took the word as it is, he forgot that this is not really what he should say because if he is claiming that Jesus was sent to the Jew then there is no way that his book is a Greek book but because this is the popular name Muhammad is fabricating words claiming it's coming from Allah there's no way if Allah is God will say I send down to to Isa I, who is Isa we do not know to he sent down to Isa a book it's called Injil what Injil isn't isn't he he was sent to Israel why his book in the Greek so here you will notice Allah confirming what is proven that Islam is a stupid. And if Allah, he said, nobody can change the word of Allah, is that goes only for all one word of Allah or all the words of Allah? The Quran says nobody can change the word of Allah. So Muslims, when they say that, actually, they give us, me personally, if a sheikh now call me, and I ask you to invite sheikh to call me, but you said you refuse. Uh, if he said that to me, he will give me a bullet to demolish Islam not a bullet, a missile to destroy it because he is speaking against his religion. They are ignorant. They do not know what they are saying and that's why we laugh at them. Anyway, my friend, I'm I going... Everybody's eyes open. Yeah, I'm going... I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam and I will be happy to hear from you soon if you like to know about Christianity. So, if, so if, even if somebody... If, if, if I want to uh, read... Which, because I know the... the They said the Bible have uh, two parts, one old and one new, or oh, I don't... So... It, like if you want what is it about those books so even if i want to read what should what i do you mean old and new I'm not. The old, I mean old, old testament old testament old testament is before christ new testament is after christ that's uh, simple so old testament is like you know the torah etc so you read those books if you want to know about the jews their history with god what they did the bad things the good things so uh, uh, as an example there's a book it's called the book of kings and this is a book speak about kings and what they did the evil and the good and the bad it's a book of history it's not really god uh, you know uh, uh, writing history it is the jews themselves writing in their own history and what those people what happened to them during their the time of ruling uh, so you know the bible is a book of books it's the book where people say things god say things and people do things good and bad so you can say the old testament is the documentary of the life of man with God. Okay. All right? Okay. Well, so thank you very much for calling, and uh, I will see if I can take any any other Muslim. 
I see some right. Muslims saying they want to call me. I will see if this is true. All right, Qasim, right. happy for you, my friend, that you left Islam. All right, take care. And be sure that your wife uh, left Islam too. All right. And now enjoy the expensive food in Ramadan because Muslims, they eat more in Ramadan, not less. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, you. take care. You know, in Ramadan, uh, the, there's a Muslim, he was keep saying in the text, he want to call me, but now I'm looking, there's nobody text me. What a potato. In Ramadan, the Muslim, they claim that they are going to fast. But if you go and check every country in the world where Muslim live, you will find the price of food go crazy. Do you know why it go crazy? Because they eat more in the month of fasting. I mean, how you are fasting and you are eating more? Huh? So even their fasting is not a fasting, it's a lie. Because if, if nobody go and drive a car, the price of gas will drop because nobody buying gas. But in the month of Ramadan, the beef, the sheep, the camel, the, the, the grocery, the vegetables, Everything will go three, four times, and people will end in the month broken. It's the month where you cannot even, the poor people will be humiliated. So this is how false this religion, everything, they have a name for it, the same as our names, like fasting. Do you think what? They are fasting. No, they are not fasting. They have nothing to do with fasting. They just flip the day and night, and then they spend the whole night eating, drinking, and having sex. Until the morning. He woke up in the morning and they put a big huge dish in front of him and he eat and then he go to sleep and then honey it's almost the sunset wake up because okay and if you go to Islamic countries not only that you know they are the same as the Jesus he spoke about the hypocrite who like when they when they fast they like to show themselves so Jesus he forbid fast you don't see Christians say I'm fasting and I'm going to pray Muslim do that Jews they do that it's a show time so he said, when you pray, don't be like those hypocrites who go in the corner. That's what the Muslims do. They, not only in the corner, you will see a guy, he put in his rag in the top of his taxi, and now he want to pray. Because it's a, you know, they love to show. Hypocrites. And Jesus told us why you should not do that. Those, they receive their wages from showing. They are not really praying to God. When you pray, go to your closet. It's something private. It's not a, it's not a hypocrisy show. Muhammadan, they follow the hypocrite Muhammad. So Muhammad, he took words from a Christianity. As an example, adultery is forbidden in Islam, but in, adult, in Islam, you can have one night stand. He can, you can have five minutes stand. Even Mimi Hijab, he said that the Muslim Salafi in London, they marry girls for five minutes, 10 minutes, go watch the video. Five minutes, 10 minutes, not me saying that. And they call it marriage. Muhammad, he come with the muta. But remember, he, the Muslim, they say, Islam is a conservative religion, is against adultery, but Islam is the religion of adultery. Islam, Islam is against crimes. Protect women, but you go and have sex with the children, and you beat women. And you make it legal in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 34. Chapter 4, verse 24, it says, you can rent women for sex. Can you believe it that there is a religion with say, with say, listen carefully, that you can rent a woman? I mean, if you are in Thailand, I will say, okay, maybe. There's weird things there. But those people, they claim falsely that they are having the same God of the Christians and the Jews. How you have the same God of the Christian and the Jews and you legalize fornication and even the Quran says in chapter of Al-Ahzab that you can be a pimp. Force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose Chastity, but if they choose not, it's okay. This is alislam.org. This is a very Islamic website. I will type in the search, just to make it short for you, the word rent. 
rent, rent. Can you believe it? Rent. In some work, they are explaining to you what is muta in Islam is. In some work, special terms is applied to women who participate in the muta. In Arabic, musta'ajara. What musta'ajara mean? In English, rented women. Is that my words? Is that my words? This is Islam, my friend. Muta considered as a kind of rental. Because in general, a man basic aim in this kind of marriage. So do you see the, the, the false prophet Muhammad? He make renting women prostitution. He call it marriage. He gave a different name. He legalized it. And now it is marriage. So when a Muhammad and he said to you, I'm getting married. Eh, don't be fooled. He's renting a woman. This is not my words. I'm not the one who put the word rented women there. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because what is the basic aim of this kind of marriage? This kind of marriage. There's many kinds. They have Zawaj a friend. They have a, a, travel, a travel marriage. Friend marriage. What a friend marriage? You see a girl, you don't want to do fornication, brother. So you go and you make a like written paper that you are, you know, and the shake, he will say, okay, now you are married. You go to the hotel, you do boom, 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 and that's it. You don't live together. It's a boom, boom. Travel marriage, you go to different country. Oh, I don't want to do fornication. I will ask them in the hotel if they can provide me a girl to marry me for temporarily or like at the time I'm here. Marry me. Marry me. You sleep with her, you have sex with her every night. When you leave, you are done. You are in the hotel. Haram, haram to do fornication. Haram, brother. This is Islam. So the purpose of this basic kind of marriage, their words, is a sexual enjoyment. You see what the purpose of this marriage? Sexual enjoyment of women. This is not my words. This is why many pimps, pervert, they would love this religion. Because in this religion, they just give names and titles to things they cannot do in others. But the file, there's nothing that's called but the file in Islam because everyone he can be a but the file legally. You can marry a child, she is four years old. They just to change the names of things. <clears throat> okay, look like maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see. Let us call him. <coughs> I hope he will answer. Who want to rent? Rental opportunity. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. Yes. Yeah, so are you... Are you a Muslim? I am. What does that mean? What does that mean? Submission of one God. Where it says that you submit to God in Islam. What do you mean? Where does that say? Where is the word submission coming from? You said the word submit, submit. The Muslim, first of all, Muslim. Yeah. yeah. You know the five pillars, right? No, no, no. I'm asking you where is the word submission coming from? Is that part of your religion? The five pillars. The submission is in one of them. Where? The Shahada. The shahada. The shahada is not uh, submission. Shahada, you witness. Is the belief. It's yeah. the belief with yeah. heart of one God. 
This is the mission of one God, okay. and the Prophet is the Rasulullah. Okay, that's wonderful. Is that right or not? All right, okay. but I'm asking you about the word submission. Submission has nothing to do with witnessing. Witnessing is something, and submission is something else. So you it mentioned be, to me submission, it but it's not there. Submitting. Huh? It could be any word. Submitting or admitting, I guess, or believing. As I know that the Muslim, they translate the word Aslim as submission, but that word means surrender. What do you think? Correct, surrendering to one God. In another word, surrender, exactly. So God. it's not submission. Surrender is the word you use when you lose war, right? Bro, bro, bro. Huh? That's another entire thing. Surrendering to an enemy and surrendering to one God. Are two no, you are not surrendering things. to one God. You are surrendering to Muhammad. How am I not surrendering? Okay, let us read, let, my friend. Exactly. Okay. Let us, let, okay. I want you. I want you to read with me, if okay. you don't mind, please. Okay. Take, I, mean, I hope you got a right website. Take it easy. All right. I will open uh, uh, in front of you your your Quran. You have your Quran with you? I do not. All right. But so can, can, when somebody says shahada, is he a believer or he is a disbeliever? Believer. Okay. Do you call? Uh, if do you call somebody, he says shahada, but he don't believe a believer. Say again. If I say shahada, but I don't believe in Islam, am I a believer? If you say shahada, no, you're not a believer. Okay. Because he has can, to come with heart as well. All right. So can, can, can you call me Muslim if I say shahada, but I don't believe? No. Okay, exactly. Because you're just like Thank you very saying much. it with no belief. Uh, everybody is my That's witness. That's true. I no. agree. I no. agree. Okay. So if somebody, he says shahada, he don't believe. If someone says it with no belief, what's the point? Well, we, shahada is so with So can belief. we call him Muslim or not? No, okay. He's just saying that by so then with read the Quran with me. Belief. Read read the Quran with me. The Quran says the opposite. The Quran says that they, you know, the 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 uh, the Bedouin, they say uh, we believe. Uh, uh, the Quran said to them, "Don't say we believe. Say we have surrender, and faith has not yet entered your heart." But listen, what you said. You said to me, and I ask you the question three times. If I say shahada. And I don't believe. Can I call myself a Muslim? You said no. But the Quran says no. You say shahada. You are a Muslim. You are not a believer. It's in the front of you. Chapter the word, 49. Listen, when you translate Arabic to English, you don't get the correct word. I'm not translating, my Surrender. friend. This is your translation. No, listen, Secondly, I, I, I am, don't a, care about I English, am an Arab. I, I do not need your translation. Okay, and you speak what Arabic does surrender supposedly. Mean? What does surrender mean in Arabic? Read, read. No, no, no. Don't change the topic. I what ask, does I ask mean you, in you Arabic? are trying to change the topic now. I ask you, no, I'm not I ask, no, I'm not I ask you, no, no, focus with me. I, am not I, I ask you, if I say shahada and I don't believe, can I can I be called a Muslim? You said no, and you repeated that more than once. It's recorded. If you say the shahada with no belief, there is no point. There's Anyone no point. Say something. And you said, I will not be called Muslim, correct? Correct. Okay. He, but, the he verse in front of you, but the verse in the front of you said the opposite. Allah is saying to them, You say we, you say you believe. Allah answered them, says, No, you don't believe, you become a Muslim. Faith never enter your heart. Read the verse. Show me the Arabic one. Let me read the Arabic. Because uh, okay, the word no. surrender means istaslama. No problem. Aslamna. Call it. Al Arabu Amen. Aslam means he's converted. No, my friend. Aslam na mean Aslam Aslam Taslam Aslam Taslam Aslam Taslam. I can show you the Hadith. Your prophet says. Okay, okay. Aslam Taslam. It could mean surrender, but to Islam. Okay, no problem. Surrender. But okay, okay, but let us prove now they surrender, but in war. Why? Because how they surrender to Islam, but they don't believe in Islam, because simply they support the lie. How? What do you mean we don't believe? As you see, they don't believe. The verse says, you said you speak Arabic, right? The verse in front of you. Uh-huh. How they did not believe, and Allah saying to them, don't call yourself a believer. Don't, don't call yourself a believer. Call yourself a surrender, a Muslim. So Muslim means surrender, not a believer. Showing the English one now. I think oh. this guy is take, I think this one uh -huh. is, is, is telling them to take a step by step. What First, step by step? What step by First, step? They are already Muslims, my friend. They are already Muslims, and Allah is saying to them, 
Don't say we are believers. Say we are Muslims. So I would step by step behind it. Can you go to the verse behind it? I will go to any verse behind it. You know, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. This is about respect to the Iman. قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُلُوا أَسْلَمْنَا أَسْلَمْنَا is more powerful. You surrender no, no, to the no, will it of says, God. It says, my friend, do you know how what to read? That? It says even faith did not even enter their heart. Don't stop. It says, I'm not, interested. I'm not interested in the English one. English one, you don't get the maximum definition. My friend, I don't care Arabic. about the English. You have the Arabic. Stop playing the game. Okay. It's you who asked me. Listen, listen. Me a second ago, I put it for you in Arabic. You said to me, move to the English. It's you who said that. And no, now I put it in the English. It. That's why. And, and I put it okay. in the English. I you said to me, I am not interested time. in the English. Okay, let's go back to the Arabic. It says here, Al Iman, Lam Yadhulul Imanu fi Kulubikum. Iman never enter your heart. Am I lying or this what it says? It's what it says. Okay. It means don't say Amen to, but no, say No, no, it doesn't say Lam Tu'minu only. It says faith it never say enter Arabic. your heart. Never. Arabic. Arabic. Kul Lam Tu'minu walakin Aslam to. I forgot the word. Don't aslamna. say that. You don't know Arabic. Listen. No, I can't read it. Walakin Kulu Aslamna walam yadkhul al-Imanu fi qulubikum. And okay. let's, say, Don't say, let's say we are Muslims, we surrender, and Iman never enter our heart. Faith never, ever, ever well, enter our heart. means when then, when then, the, when faith enters your heart, say Amen. No, no. Read, actually, my friend, this is why, this is why the, uh, 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 you can read any translation, you can read the tafsir. We can read the tafsir. I don't believe that you bring up a correct tafsir. You just opened Islam.org. I know that Islam.org is from Shia website. My friend, so you must have when we ask you how many Shia there is in the world, you say to us 1.6. First of all, on the internet. So, on so the when internet, you want to count the Shia, when you want, you don't count them. So are they Muslim or not? I don't believe in the Shia. I'm okay, sorry. is the Sunni? Did the I Sunni, believe in the Okay, you're changing Sharia. topic now, but I will go with you. The Sunni, they practice Mut'a too. Is, it, is, is the Quran the book of the Shia or the Sunni? From, from the Sharia, the book of what? Chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Mastam ta'tum bihi, bihinna. So the one you, you, you enjoy then, so you have to pay them wages for enjoying their vagina. And this is Quran. And Chapter you can 4, read. can you say that again? Mastam ta'tum bihi, the one you enjoy it, her vagina. You enjoy their vagina, you pay them wages. But before we go there, you are trying to change topic, so you did. I didn't change topic. You did I'm fool sorry. yourself. I said Shia you did fool yourself. Uh, Shia are more Muslim than you. At least they are Shia, not. How is Shia? How is Shia more Muslim than? Exactly. I will tell you why. How? Okay. How? The Quran say you do muta. You Muslim Sunni. You say don't do muta. How you follow hadith but you don't follow? Quran. You just you just open you just open the Shia website and you disagree. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Is the Quran is a Shia website? Chapter four, verse Quran, twenty-four. No. Okay, so Quran chapter 4 verse 24 says you do muta. How you Muslim Sunni don't follow the Quran? The Shia, they follow the Quran. So they are more Muslim than you. 24, one second. I got the whole complete another verse. Like another whole meaning. Hmm. Never mind, never mind. And so you can read it. You can read it. Fama bihi the vagina, for you enjoy bihi. You enjoy it. This is why in Sharia Allah, if you don't have intercourse, if you marry a woman, but you did not have intercourse yet, you reserve. You you take your money back. The money you paid her, you take it back because you did not. You know, you did not enjoy it, which is the vagina. So you take your money back. But if you enjoy this it, you word, can't take the money this back. This word vagina is from your mouth. My friend, the word vagina is in the front of you. From a stem tatum bihi. Bihi. You speak Arabic. What bihi go for? Who? Bihi is a male or female? One sec. <laughs> I'm just reading right now. That shouldn't be translation. Hmm. And we can go right now and see the interpretation, and you will see this about Muta from the Sunni. Let me show you the, the Sunni, not the Shia. 
I certainly hope so. Okay, so you want me to go to the tafsir? Show me the translation before in English. I'm showing you the translation in English. It's not shown for me. Hmm. Well, you don't open from your know. side. No, it is. No, it is. Sorry, sorry. It's probably delayed. Okay. We can open Ibn Kathir, we can open Al-Qurtabi, we can open Al-Tabari. All of them, those are Muslim Sunni. Zero Shia. And your Prophet, he practiced Muta. And the Sahaba practiced Muta. And even after death, the uh, after death of Muhammad, they practiced Muta. So how the Shia are not Muslim and you are the Muslim? You are not a Muslim. How am I not a Muslim? You are not. Because if you are a Muslim, if you are a Muslim, what Muslim mean? The Muslim is the one who follow the steps of Muhammad, correct? Not, not necessarily. No, so that's why it's called Sunnah. 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 Sunnah is not is not a force. It's a blade. No, it's Sunnah. Like no, Sunnah. For an example, for an example Rasul, if Sunnah I pray, is what the no. Prophet, what the Prophet, he allow or disallow. You forbid what is allow, and you allow Allah what is allow. And Allah forbade. No, Allah. Sunnah no, is what Muhammad no, no. forbade, not Allah who forbade. Who wrote the Quran? My friend, you, who my the friend. Quran? Okay, okay. Hold on. As an example, now, the Quran says you do muta. The Hadith says don't do muta. Which one you follow? Listen, I'm not going to give you a right answer because I don't know anything about. Why not? Personally. Why not? You know, you can but search right. My friend, you can search right now. We have time. My, no my friend, my friend, my friend. Listen, we have time. You can search right now as you are talking to me, Mister Hazim. You can talk to me now and still no. search use your fingers. Search use your fingers. Is the muta is forbidden? Yes. The hadith in the in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim says it's forbidden. The Prophet he allowed it. And then let me show you. Uh, you said to me, I'm showing Shia, right? Okay, here we go. I will show you something from the Sunnah. And you tell me. Uh, Wait, so do you agree that you just opened the Shia website? Do you agree on that? So what? It's a Muslim website, and they are explaining that the, the muta. Did you just say a Shia is a Muslim website? I said the Muslim website because you're Muslim when you count. You count all of we Muslims. We Muslim, Muslim follow the Sharia. So Shia Listen, are not Muslims. Islam, so let me make it clear now. So okay, I'm asking you: Is Shia a Muslim or not? Is Shia a Muslim or not? Yeah. There, there is corruption among, like, for an example, weak, weak narrations and corrupt uh, this, this narrations. This is not the question: Is Shia a Muslim or not? It depends. Would depend. depend. Even the, even the answer is Shia a Muslim if, or not. So why are why are you are upset? You, why are you are upset you. when I say yeah. a Muslim website? If you yourself cannot give me the answer, because they're wrong narrations. Look, my, my friend, listen. Here we go. This is your prophet. I want you to read what he said. Okay. What is the difference between Sunni and my Shia? My friend, the, don't 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 waste my time. Read what your prophet said. Go ahead. This is this is not Shia now. This is Sunni. And this is the Aif Hadith. In case of temporary marriage, mm. the muta is cancelled. Because the muta is about pleasure in marriage. I'm asking you to read. Can you read it for us? I just read it. I just okay. read is that it Sunni or Shia? Or are those Sunni or Shia? You tell me where did you get this, from? This Daif Hadith is a Sunni, a Sunni or Shia? This is a Sunni website. Al Bukhari, that's Sunni. Huh? From the Sharia. Huh? Al Bukhari. What about the Bukhari? The okay, so Al Bukhari. Uh, it's you, a strong narration. Okay, so you don't accept this one because this is not Al Bukhari. This is no. I said it is Bukhari. It is said. Ah, it says that Al Bukhari. Ah, okay. So you cannot play the game. It says Al Bukhari. <laughs> Say again. The Muslim they play the game of the Eve and strong. So he will go. This no, is Bukhari. Agree, Did agree. your prophet allow you to sleep with the women three days, three nights? If you like to stand, you extend. Yes or no, no? They're talking about they're talking about temporary marriage. Take this is Sunni. Is that Shia Muslim. or Sunni? This is Al Bukhari. Is the Bukhari Shia or Sunni? Sunni. I okay. So you said to me, I'm showing what the Shia they say, but this is your prophet explaining the muta. You can rent a woman for a day, two rent. days, three wait, days. Wait, 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 wait. Who, where did you get the word rent? It's in the front of you. 
This is temporary marriage. Temporary marriage. Okay, and what is, uh, give me the things. definition of temporary marriage. Go ahead. You are married, but let's say it's temporary in a way like... What is the word, what is the word used in Arabic? The word what? What is the word used in Arabic when we say the word temporary marriage in English? What is the word used in Arabic? Um, muta, right? No, muta means pleasure in marriage, I believe. Uh -huh. Okay. This is a muta. This where the muta came from, from the Quran. Pleasure in marriage. Like actual marriage. Not marriage. Are you are pro, pro, in sex. You are sleeping with the man for three days. Is that marriage? Who I married. Who I <laughs> what married? You marry for three days? And if you like to increase, no, you increase. No. If you like to decrease, if, decrease. Okay. If it worked out between the three days that you guys are in love, for example. Huh? Go on. Continue. Oh, so you will meet a woman and you are in love marry with her. And have a so you marry, you marry her for three days. And you pay her money. Listen, if a man and woman agree... Agree to what? To marry temporarily. To, what to do what? Like what, they they, wanna... what they will do exactly and what she will get, she have to get paid, correct? When she's your wife, sure. I provide Sure, for okay. So you hire women to sleep with her for... Uh, hire? No, look, look at this. Yes, because you words. are paying her. Why are you, you are said, paying her? No. Listen, you no, said to I'm me, you said to her. me you are in we love both? with her. You said to me, no, I heard you, we both? you are in Listen. love with her. If she is in love with you, why she is going to get paid to sleep with you? Man and woman agreed, okay? Uh -huh. She didn't, like, she didn't disagree and I'm telling her, let me hire you. I'll pay for you if you marry me. No. We both agreed that we marry. Agreed? Okay. okay. And why I need to okay. pay her? Why I need because to pay her? She's my wife. Even though it's temporary, she's still my wife. I provide for her. I could feed her with my money. I could provide. I no, could you have to protect. mention. You have to mention how much you paid her before you sleep with her. You have to make an agreement for the period of the time. How long? And sure. The agreement. I mean, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, guys. Okay, so okay. he agreed. Thank you, Mr. Hazim. Right. Your name is Hazim, right? Okay. Yeah. So and, we have to agree. Remember. You just say that you have to agree about how long and how much, correct? Mm. Okay, that is prostitution. You ask a prostitute how much you pay me for etc. Time she say ten dollars. Okay, let's go. How this is marriage? <laughs> How this is marriage? You just say it. We agree about the time before even we start. I we said to you, how much you want to charge me? How, how much you want to charge me for three hours? She said twenty dollars. How in the world this this is a prostitution? So what you no, want? What, no, what, no, no, what, no, what? no, one, no one said three hours, ten dollars like that. It doesn't work like that. It worked as like we don't, we don't is, talk is, about is Muhammad like Hijab is, a, is Muhammad Hijab is a Muslim or a Shia? Muslim Sunni or Shia? Muhammad Hijab. You don't know Muhammad Hijab? He's a, he's a Sunni, I believe. He's a I've Sunni, exactly. He said that Muslim Sunni in London, they marry women for five minutes. I can play the video for you. Five minutes. Five, not five hours, five minutes. I can't find the video right now. Wait, say again. What did you say? Five minutes. About? He said Muslim Sunni. He was talking to Salafi. Yeah. He said to them that you Muslim Salafi, you marry women for five minutes. I've never heard anyone saying that. So is it against Islam or the Sunni Salafi they are practicing? I mean, it's not about it's against Islam. It doesn't make sense. Marry someone for five minutes. What does that mean? You tell me. Why not? If you what the difference I, between I don't know. what what the difference between marrying her for three hours or three days or three minutes? It's about time, I guess. Three days is more more logic. Ah, more logic, but she is getting paid anyway. So the time is, is, is the only difference is the time. It is temporarily. One sec. Uh -huh. Five minutes doesn't make sense. You well, and I both agree. Well, like this that. is what Five. Muhammad Hijab he said, my friend. Anyway, this is your Muslim, this is your Sunni. And you Muslims, there is no limit. If there is anywhere in the Quran that says. Can you show me what he said five minutes? Uh, let me. Uh...
let me see if I can find the video. Hold, give me a second. Go on. Here we go. I will give you the the video. You play it in your side. Okay, hold on. This is not uh, the one. Uh... Can you just send the link in the live chat? No, no, let me. I will send you the link. You're sure. This is the title. Search it. Search it. Muhammad Hijab, the Mary and Divorce. This is how they write the word Mary. The Mary and Answer, Divorce lies about Hakim Abu Khadija. Watch the video. The video is very short. He Muhammad said, Hijab. Okay. You marry, you marry women for five minutes. This is not me saying that. Five minutes. Minute. Watch it from your side. Oh well. And he's speaking not to the Shia, he's speaking to the Salafi. And you know that the Salafi is the most conservative Muslims. Supposedly they are the best of you. So the best of you marry women for five minutes. Ten minutes. This is not my words. He said two minutes. I forgot the video. I did not watch it for long. I'll watch it later. It's fine. I'll watch it later. No, no. You watch it now. I will call you after two minutes. Just the video is very short. Let me call you back. Hmm. I'm just not playing it. So uh, because they flag my videos always cowards. And this is the video title. And I advise everybody to download it actually before they take it down. This is your Mimi exposing the Muslim, exposing the reality about the Mohammedan cult. This is what they do. They marry women for a few minutes. Now, for me, he said three minutes, right? Okay. For me, three minutes doesn't make sense. I mean, by the time she take off her panty, three minutes is gone. But this is telling you the reality about how short what so-called marriage is. She got paid for sex, and those are Muslim Sunni. Those are not Shia. If I say that, they will say he's lying. This is your Mimi, the one who ran away from me like a potato. Three minutes, not even five, I was wrong. Give you the link. You guys are, are, are lazy, aren't you? You don't want to search the title. Here we go. So our friend here has him. He agree that they, you know, they, they, they uh, he said, yes, we agree about the time. We agree how long we will stay married between two bracket and how much I will pay her. And this is not prostitution. Can you believe it? <laughs> so what Muhammad, the fraud of Muhammad is, he give names, he changed the names of prostitution. He changed the names of fornication to make it legal and lawful. And now he is saying the Shia, they do that. You Muslims need to do it more. And you have endless numbers of names of what so-called marriage, but all of them, they are just for sex. And this is you, Muslim Sunni in England, fighting, exposing each other. I challenge you, my friend Hazim, to call me and tell me he was lying. Let me call him back. I think he disconnected himself. I shouldn't let him go. He's gone. Supposedly, Shia do that. Shia, you are right. 
Did you have a good time, guys? As you see, Islam is so stupid, and the Muslim cannot defend their cult. The second, you know, this guy can do good if he calls somebody else, not with me. Here, there is no space for the devil tail. I'm not saying he is the devil. I'm saying he's a poor guy. He think he think he is he have God. He think he have religion. He think he have a prophet. He think, but the reality is, you have a pervert. He changed names of evil things to do. He married child and he called it marriage, but this is with a file. He make you hire women to sleep with you and he called it temporary marriage. Temporary marriage. What's the difference between fornication and temporary? What's the difference between one night stand? You know, at least boyfriend and girlfriend, they don't get paid. If a, if a woman, she wanted to pay you to, to you know, she, she, she had to be paid to sleep with you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. I'll All right. So did you see the video? I saw the video and wallahi, everything you just said did not come in the video. Everything he, the I just said is not in the video? An example that people are saying they're marrying. What? People are saying? He probably said that people are lying about marrying five minutes. Who is hours. saying that? Yeah. Mimi Hijab, he oh. said that you I marry saw, for three I minutes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Did Hijab, Hijab he said... Saying, did hijab, no, did hijab he say, he married, you marry for three minutes. Did he say that? He said that people are lying about, like they're mocking. He said, he, he said they are lying? He minutes. said they are lying. No, listen, the video was... Why you are changing the, the words? Why you are adding words? No, no, no. I'm asking you what Muhammad hijab he said. Did he say... You Muslim Sunni no, Salafi, you marry three, matter five, ten minutes. Fact, the video was clipped. No, no problem. So they are. This is they are trying to refute him. Those are video is not made by him. They are refuting him. His video. I don't know where it is, but this is part of his video speaking about them. And he is saying. No, I can't. I can't say anything about that. Anyone can set up anyone. No, I'm asking like you. Did Mimi Hijab in the video say you they, marry women for three minutes? Did I lie? Actually, I don't. I don't have enough evidence for that. Neither do you. I don't that care if you have evidence. I gave you the video. Is this fake video? He was probably talking about people are saying they're marrying for five. Did minutes. Did he say and, people are saying? Wrong, did he say people are off. saying, or he said you problem. marry? That's the problem. Did he say people are saying, or he said you marry? That's what I'm saying. That people. No, 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 no. When you go and make a video and you say, but it's cut off. You I are don't have proof of that. no. He said. Either way, either way. Generally, generally. My speaking, friend, just don't waste my time. I don't talk to liars. You can call me other day. I mean, the video in front of you, and you have no shame to say people are saying when he is the one is saying you marry. Don't you have a shame? The video in the front of us. We post the link for everybody, and you are saying that he said that people are saying. This video made to refute him. He is not saying people are saying. He is saying you do, Mary. How many of you click at the video and watch it, people? Did he say people are saying or he said you marry? So now the Muhammadan, they move from duct tape Muhammad to duct tape Muhammad Hijab. Because like Muhammad Hijab became their prophet. <laughs> I mean, he said you do. You do marry women for three minutes, five minutes. I did not watch the video for a long time. I don't know what the number he said there. I forgot it. But the number is so small. He said, too, I'm not the one going to play it because I know the coward. He will, you know, he will flag my video.
You cannot believe it how much liars they are. I mean, we are giving them the video. We show them the link. And both, by the way, this video is posted by Muslims. They are refuting Muhammad Hijab, yes. But both are Muslims. Both are Muslim Sunni. So either you say Muhammad Hijab is a liar or you say he's saying the truth. He did not say people are the same. Duct tape. So in the video, what he said, guys, he said two minutes. He said two or three or five. Hey, here we go. So two or three or five. I mean, even rabbit need more time than two minutes to finish it. And you lied and you say, maybe, I think he's saying, people saying, why you lie? You cannot debate a liar, by the way. You cannot. I'm telling you. It is impossible to debate a liar because whatever you say, whatever you show, even if it's true in front of him, by evidence, he will say, I did not see it. Where? Huh? Where? So as you see, the Shia and the Sunni, the Shia are more honest. The Shia, they keep giving it the same name. Muta. The Sunni, they just change the name. They do the same thing. They pay. And he agreed. He said, yes. We Okay, so what's what problem? I said to him, so do is it, is, it, is it true that you ask a woman to marry you for a certain amount of time or period of time and you agree, she, she have to agree before you do it about how much, how long time, how much time and how much money? He said, yes, so what's the problem? This is what prostitution is about. There's no woman have dignity. She will say, I will marry you for two weeks. That means she's a whore. That means the purpose of all of it is for sex. This is why it's called muta. Muta means sex. Enjoying sexual pleasure. Anyway, maybe next time my friend has him, he can uh, uh, call me and I wish you a good luck. But thank you for participating. You are more brave than Mimi Hijabi. Don't dare to call me. He's a coward. I have to give him a point. He's a brave man. He called me. Even though he tried to duct tape what we are showing him in front of him, saying people are saying, no, he did not say that. He says, you are doing, he's accusing them. He's not saying, I heard. It's the same when the Quran says the sun set in murky water. What the Muslim they do? They add Allah, He said, as if it is set. They are adding sentence to the Quran. And they say we never corrupt the Quran. But the Quran says He found it set in murky water. He didn't say He found it as if it is. Can't Allah, don't Allah the word know the word as if it is in Arabic? He can use it, but He did not simply because this is what He said. So duct tape is Islam, and Islam is duct tape. And we keep the question going about how Allah He created two goat, two sheep, yet they are eight pairs. And not to forget the part where Allah He gave order to and the command to Noah to wipe the ass of the elephant and the pig is created from his tail. All those stories are true stories. And Muhammad must be a true prophet. Islam is a religion of holiness. And the holy prophet, he command us to do mutah because it's a holy mutah. What is more holy than asking a woman to sleep with you and you pay her? Let us be honest. What is more holy than a man is 54 years old, he go after a child, she is six years old. What is more holy than Muhammad? He wished to marry a child. She is an infant, Umm Habiba, when she was in the diaper. In the diaper. What is more holy than God? He offer you 80,000 little boy. They are white like pearls to be slaves forever. Slavery in heaven and just in heaven and a sex slave women. 
and the Muslim even confused about the gender of those women. That will be good for the Democrat Party in USA and those liberals. So my friends, the transcript, oh, you mean there is a, there is a, no, the CC, you, when you click on it, it doesn't work, I don't know with me. Anyway, I mean, you guys, you can see it. Here we go. This is the title. I advise every one of you to download the part before they take it down. Download it. And make title, Muhammad Hijab, he says, Muslim Sunni. Sunni, not Shia. Those are Salafi Sunni. The most conservative Muslim Sunni. They do sleep with Muslim women for two, three, five minutes. What do you want more? A very advanced sexual cult. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And Ante, we'll see you soon again. We will go back when we have 20,000 and more. So share the link of the video if you like us to come back as soon as you like. Share the video. Make a comment. Give a like. And subscribe if you care. And always for those who ask how, where we can find you. I might change the channel anytime. The easiest way, always, my friend, we have the address in the front of you, patreon.com slash christianprince. You do not need to make a donation. As you see, we go live and we go offline. We don't even mention it. But this is how you can find me. Just go there, click at the last video I posted, and you will be able to find where I'm going to go live. Very simple, very easy. Patreon slash christianprince. Because channels might change. Today I'm here. Tomorrow maybe not different channel. Still subscribe, but in case we change the channel, you know how to find me so easy. I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. We pray to our friend Kazim who left Islam to find the truth and he come to Jesus. We pray that our friend Hazim, the poor Hazim who called me today, he will find the truth and the truth will set him free. We pray for all Muslims to be saved from the devil and his deception. And as Allah, he says, he is the best of deceivers. So why in the world I want to follow? The one who is the best of the deceivers and I forsake the true Lord the holy the king of kings his name is holy his act is holy his life is holy and now he is the holy God in heaven that is the Messiah how in the world we forsake such a person such a name and we follow such a pervert are you out of your mind you must be Take care.